Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Bangalore in India. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create lofted 3D surfaces and solids using BrickSCAD. First, we do the solids. Under the model menu, under 3D solids, you have the loft command. Select cross sections in lofting order. So, I have three 2D profiles here at different Z values. There is a rectangle, a hexagon and a circle. So I'm going to select this rectangle and this hexagon and press enter. So you have the 3D solid now. It has been created by lofting these two profiles. Now if you want to continue further, start the command once again. Instead of selecting the 2D profile, I'm going to select the face and the next profile and you can continue with the uh, creation of the 3D solid. Now let's select the mode and I'm going to select the solid and you can see that this is a 3D solid and you can access all the solid parameters like the moment of inertia, centroid, products of inertia and so on. So this is how you loft between two profiles. Now what if you have something more complex? That's possible as well we can show you how to do it. So go back here, go to loft and I'm going to loft this one and this one. Now to continue further there are some best practices. What I would do is go to loft and loft these two together and then enter the command. Actually you can loft more than two together in one command but it takes longer time sometimes so the easier way is to loft two profiles together and create the solid and then loft them in the next operation so for example I go back here to loft I select this face and then I change the angle and then select this face now this may take a little while but you need to be patient at the end of it it is going to do its job so it has done it now you can see that all the four profiles have been seamlessly joined and you have a solid covering all the profiles but these are separate solids so if you want to join them you can always do a union so I select this this and this, this takes a little while as well so depending on your computer speed you may have to wait a few seconds so it's done it's a single solid now okay so you have seen how to create a 3d solid using lofting now let us see how we can create a 3d surface using lofting we are in the wireframe mode now which I changed using the visual style command I go to model meshes I use this command called rule surface select the first entity and then the second entity and you can see that you have a 3D surface created by lofting. So with BrickScat it's very easy to create either a 3D surface or a 3D solid using the lofting commands and using multiple sections you can create a series of freeform solids using lofting. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and do let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.